Hello everyone, welcome back to Arrakis for another episode of Let's Play Dune, the 1992 video game adaptation of the 1965 novel and 1984 film. We're back for another round of Command and Conquer, really. Um, we are now controlling 22% of the areas of the planet. I was a bit confused about our increase in control from last time, but I, I've come to the conclusion um, that it's not military conquest and, and having conquered a new area, but it's kind of where our, um, our people are situated and they seem to have uh, influence over that particular region of the planet. So I think that's how we uh, mark our areas as controlled. Um, we seem to be leveled up on number of men, decrease in spice production, but I think that makes sense because um, I think all the areas in which we're mining are of decreasing spice density, so we're, we're mining them to exhaustion. So day on day, that uh, productivity will go down, um, which I think is fine. We've got quite a lot in reserve, and um, we do want to exhaust those particular areas before we change them ecologically. So I think that makes sense. Um, I've got some things I want to do militarily, and I'm kind of hoping the Harkonnens don't move before I do. That's my, my sincere hope. Let's see, so I can't, uh, let me remind myself, I can't see these northern troops. I can't contact them from where I am. So I think I'm going to head off to the, um, where's the smugglers? The smugglers area is just over here to the west, isn't it? There it is. Yeah, I think I'll head there next. Uh, I believe I'm still in the communication room of the palace. Yes, I am. Brilliant. Okay, so let's head off. So we've got a, the time is reset for five days' time before we have to be back at the palace to make another spice shipment to the emperor. Um, and I've been thinking as we take our ornithopter flight um, about how my relationship with the the game has changed over its course thus far. Um, I'm finding it uh, very compelling, perhaps more so than um, at first, uh, because there was no real sense of urgency. It did play a lot more like an adventure game, um, going from place to place and having character interactions and solving very low-key puzzles um, uh, with little little threads of the, the strategic side of the game uh, working through. And now it's very much since um, Duke Leto was shot down um, and the Harkonnen started invading our areas um, and we got the kind of the last piece of the strategic puzzle um, with well, we got soldiers first and then we got the ecological angle having got uh, those last pieces in place and then uh, having lost Chani as well um, that's kind of left us in kind of a story limbo for the most part where the, the strategy elements have really come to the fore. So my mind's really working on those and my desire to uh, keep progressing through through those mechanics. And um, it's interesting, it's a different kind of engagement. And it's definitely a different kind of engagement than I would have had if the game was just this from the start. If it was kind of a, a time period loop where you had to meet certain um, military uh, resource gathering objectives uh, in that time period. If it was just that from the start I don't think I'd be as invested in this as I am now because the game spent uh, a long time quite carefully building up personality and investment in this world. It does feel like I am on this planet part of this planet because mechanically I have to physically travel everywhere to get to people. Being there in person makes a difference. Um, and I've interacted with characters who, who've who been taken away from me and I want back. I want to see Charney, I want to see Gurney Halleck again. Um, so it's a, it's a really interesting fusion, um, but we I do seem to be very much in the, the headspace of the, the strategy at the moment. 
how well I'm doing with that, I don't know. Um, so here I've got an ex. Ooh, I want to modify your equipment, expert army person. Ooh, I might need to uh, do something else first. I might just talk to the ecologist, who's probably unable to do anything. Yeah, I'd like to modify your equipment. Would you? There we go. If you pop your ornithopter in the CH. Okay. What I'm going to do is give that to the expert army person. I think it would just help them to get around quicker if they need to. I know you say it's no, no current use to you, but I think you do get around quicker. So that's really good. I want, I think at least, I want at least two expert um, soldier, soldier troops in this location before I make my next move. So I hope I have enough time to do that. So we've got a skilled one. I think skilled is probably before expert. They're skilled too, so that's good. Um, so that's those groups. The prospectors have nothing to do at present. Harvesters are harvesting. They're experts, so they should hopefully um, get as effective a, a haul out of this area as they can. So that's good. Um, I want to check on can I contact the single soldier that's down here? Uh, single soldier? Where are you single soldier? There you are. How are you doing skill wise? You're skilled too, okay. So really I just need to let a little time pass, I think, to give them, let them build up their skills. Um, I'm not too worried about the spice. I think we're in a, a, a good place for spice, as I mentioned earlier. So I'm gonna get the actually let's check on the map i think i've got I missed out kind of an opportunity for somewhere i could send my ecologist friend yeah so they're doing good stuff there but i believe this yet also has lots of water so let's send let's send the ecologist who's not doing anything to there and they can begin um converting that area to vegetation which would be great so please go to that one there. That'd be great, thank you. And that should keep you occupied. So I think that's that's a good way around to do things. And we'll just kind of let a little bit of time elapse. I think, well I don't, we might not just have to pass a bit of time during battle as we, we did last time. Um, I didn't want to go to that actually, I want to come out of this map screen. And while we're waiting for a bit of time to pass, let's just read a book. It's a bit more appropriate here um, where we're parked up at the smugglers than it would be in the heat of battle, I think. Um, so we read about the Fremen last time. Let's read about everything we know about Spice so far. And the Duke said to Paul, My son, we must mine the Spice as soon as possible, or the Emperor will recall us from June. Duncan Idaho told Paul, do remember that spice is by far the most valuable substance in the whole universe that can only be found here on June. It's something Duncan is oft heard to say. Paul's mother, Jessica, explains. The spice is mined from the sand of June. The spice prolongs life and extends consciousness. It's used by the guild navigators to travel through space. The harvester is a very large machine used to mine the spice from the sands of June. Impurities are spun off and injected through a spout in the top of the harvester. Wow, so it's a refiner as well. Harvesters are often attacked by the gigantic sandworms because of machine rhythmic vibrations. Prospecting for spice is a very peculiar job only very few people are able to do. Paul found such a troop and convinced them to go from CH to CH. Ah, so this is written in the context of our story now. Spice beds are located by subtle changes in sand texture and colour. Depressions in sand flats and telltale odour and colour gases. Samples are assayed by taste. This test is often fatal due to high concentrations of mock spice. Wow, no wonder they're rare people to find. Ornithopters are used by spice miners to watch for the worm sign. The only stays close to the harvester to effect a rapid evacuation should a worm appear. Oh, and I think that's the end of it. I think this is gonna. Uh, get us back to the credits. Yeah, 
indeed it does. I like the fact that the book is writing itself as we go. So it's, it seems to be mostly a reminder of sort of from the in-world perspective of certain mechanics in the game. But what's quite nice is that it's also charting our legend to some extent, uh, which is, yeah, quite appealing. So I've, uh, an idea has just uh, occurred to me that we we should probably visit some people as we've got some we've got some time to pass. So let's go. I think we should go visit maybe these two, and then we could head back around the planet if we need to. But I think if we head here to start with, we can certainly check in with the. Um, With the people who are harvesting there, see how they're doing in person. After a brief disc change and a flush of hot pink. See so if we can't boost their morale a bit, and well, they may even have some information for us. It's been days since we've heard from you. Repairing our equipment is going to take us the whole day. We should be settled in Sihaya Tabir. We've been doing spice mining, but our job is finished. Oh, finished. Interesting, the experts. A worm has come, my dear. We saw it, it was so huge. By chance, we've been able to protect ourselves, but I wouldn't like to do it that again. The worm attacked the harvester, there was a lot of damage. We're making repairs now. Oh, this could have been avoided with an orny. Men flight can warn us when they see the worm sign. Well, let's just check on the density. Because if that's... It's not all mined out, it's semi-mined out. Okay, you could do with Norni. Don't have one at present, but I will... Well, you know what? You, I guess you could have the one that I've got. You could have the one that I've got. Okay, and we can worm where else we need to go. Yeah, let's do that. Because that's... Um, I can't modify your equipment. Oh, that's interesting. That's very interesting, so I can't give you an Orny right now. Hmm. Well, never mind. Let's see if we can contact our troops. Can we? We can. Great. How are they doing? Um. Skilled. Skilled. Alright, it's going to take a little bit longer. Um, so, my idea is that I'd leave one expert at that CH and I'd send one expert off to uh, reconnoiter for a another Harkonnen base close by and then we try and take it. That's my my thinking. Let's go there, Vlagnoni. I'm, I'm not entirely convinced that we've actually been here in person yet. Um, we may just have sent someone there blindly. I feel like something I might have done. Ooh, I think we have actually, because there's two groups here. I can feel something in you, nevertheless. I cannot say if you'll be able to bring good to our people. Um, okay, well, let's see if you'll rally to me. We're still got here. Yes, I believe in you, Maldib. My men and I are ready to follow you. Amazing. Okay, so now I've got some more, some more guys. Let's talk to. I think these are the harvesters. Yeah, my troop is settled in. Sell them into min. We've been doing spice money for eight days. They're experts too. Brilliant. Um, hopefully, men and Orni can warn the men the harvest of worms. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I think they've got their Orni. They're all right. There is CH not far from here, northwestwards. Okay. Northwestwards from. I can't remember what this one's called, but we can go there next, actually. Um, yeah, let's go there next. That's good. That's really good to know. Thank you. So, you, first Roman chief. Um, oh, interesting that you didn't tell me about the local CH. Um, I think I need you to be troops, actually. Ah, there's nothing like military training. Okay. 
cool. Um, let's see. So, what equipment is there around? There's my ornithopter. Um, what equipment do these guys have? Did I give them any extras? Oh, I certainly did. That's going to prove to have been a good idea. So, let's give the fighters. those. And before they start doing much training, I wonder if I can get the search for equipment. Okay. Well, I th I'm pretty sure there's equipment in... Ooh, what one is it? Not here. In this one. Pretty sure there is. Um, I could ask them to go there, maybe? Maybe. Oh, the ecologist is still on their way. That's cool. Okay. So, I think I will ask them to go there. So that's... I mean, I can... We kind of... Because we're at that point around the planet where we can kind of go either way, can't we? I'm pretty sure it's this one is near yeah all right you head off that way I hopefully that won't provoke the um, the Harkonnen into anything all right then let's head northwestwards so let's take a look at the top we're here um let's go there it's discovering um new locations and possibly some uh new people to fight alongside us would be really helpful actually. We're on day 58, we're okay until day 61, okay. I feel like, yeah, until the Harkonnen start to attack, I feel like this is going pretty well. anything did it so let's change destination sometimes it can be a bit finicky I think let's head back here but this is still sort of conceivably northwest isn't it I'll change destination again back to did we come from here where did we come from? Here. Let's head back there. Maybe that'll give us enough coverage. Yeah, let's see. Sort of headed northwest. From where we were. Okay, we didn't find anything there. Am I too far up? out to contact the soldiers and see how they are. Yeah, that's okay. So, northwest then. Um, what if I head for, try and head for the middle of this dark area? Let's try that. So, actually, I kind of headed up there, didn't I? Well, maybe there's a good place to go instead. It 
it's hard to do a strict northwest, I think, with the curvature of the planet. Oh, we found something. Brilliant. It looks like a CH there on the left. Okay, let's go towards it, please, Stilgar. Just hang your, hang your arm out of the ornithopter to indicate. Brilliant. Okay, well, let's see what's here. No people? Yes, people. Hi. We saw you coming from the other CH. I can feel something in you. Nevertheless, I cannot say if you'll be good. You'll be able to bring good to our people. Rally to me? These Harkonnens have despised us and treated us badly for too long. You can count on my troop for aid in your battles. Hooray! Can I see what else is in your CH? Is it maybe water? It is water, okay. Nice. Um, I'm a little curious, how's our charisma doing? So I think that might be a measure of our influence as well. Oh, you can see green on the global view. Ah, oh, I like that. That's nice. I'd I'd very relish it if we if we get to see this uh, this desert planet converted to greenery. That'd be amazing. Thirty one. I think that's gone up a little. So spy production has gone up. Interestingly, no number of men has gone up. Spy production has gone down. Area control to stay the same. Interesting. Okay, um, do you know of anywhere else that we might go? You don't? Okay, that's alright. Um, if I look at the spice density map now, let's see if what changes, if any, have occurred. Um, so this is actually kind of near our starting region now, isn't it? Which is interesting. Yeah, that's really interesting. Let's just check up here too. So, yeah, you know what? The next time we talk to the prospect is... We might as well get them to come here to prospect this area. Um, I don't think I'll give the troops any particular occupation yet, although... We said that. Let's see what, if anything, they have equipment wise in their CH. Um, actually, no. So, not by giving them orders, but by looking at the map, we should be able to see what's there. Okay, there's an Orny and knives. Hmm. That would suggest a military, uh, military occupation, so to speak. Um, hmm. We're still not going to do anything with them just yet, I don't think. Uh, although I don't suppose it harms, does it, to give them an occupation? I think we're going to need more, more fighters than ecologists or harvesters, spice harvesters in the short term. So I guess I will get them to train militarily. Um, Specialise in army please and then if I give you that and that. That has some Chris nice one, I will appreciate it. Okay. And then if I change your tro troop occupation to go and search for equipment no, I don't think there's anything close here either. Okay, great. So they can be trained themselves up. Oh, I need to get back to somewhere I can speak to the soldiers. Because I think we might just uh, have enough time to do what we want to do. So actually, I think what I'll do is I will fly to here, check on it in on the ecologist. I can't go there flying an Orny. Oh, I guess I'm not close enough to my Orny. Oh, why do I have no... Oh, I gave them my Orny. That's why. 
Well, never mind, we can work there. Uh, sorry, still guys, it's a bit embarrassing. Uh, there we go. The green one, showing it to be here. Oh, you can't see the green on this little map. The worm map. Um, I wonder if the worm would have trouble getting to a green area. Because they're very much part of the spice ecosystem. I think if we change it so that it's a green planet, I don't think there'll be so many worms around. Wow, look at it. Okay, let's get inside. Let's talk to the former chief. My troop is settled in Toronto to beer. We've been doing irrigation and tree care for four days. Novice. Okay. Uh, what do you think, Stilgar? Oh, okay. Stilgar still misses Charney. Oh, and then... Oh, continues animating to talk, even though... He has nothing to say? Oh, they just clicked a bit too fast. Okay, um, well, there you go. Hopefully they're reassured that I stopped by. Um, let's call a worm. Ah, look at the vegetation, that's amazing. Okay, so I want to go to the uh, village there. Oh, well, hopefully that will work. We'll skip to the destination. So it's day 60. Oh, okay, we need to be back soon. So this might be interesting. Let's see how those troops are doing. So I haven't had any psychic messages about anything, which I'm taking as a good sign. Hopefully some of these guys are experts. Skilled. Skilled, okay. And then I'm hoping there's an Oh, there's more greenery there now for sure. Great, these ecologists are all in place. I can see the, the uh, soldier that I sent across country is still on their way. Let's just check what what if my memory about equipment is correct. I think it is, yeah. That's cool, okay. So, um, how is how are you doing? You're skilled as well. Okay, I think the only thing I um, had neglected to do there was contact oh no actually there's probably a couple of things that are good that I can do I'm gonna uh, talk to prospectors I'm gonna get them to move to the only um, the only CH we know about right now which is the one over here to prospect there um, I think that'd be really helpful and then the spice is probably pretty low in this area, I'm imagining. Oh, it's completely gone. Well, in that case. Um, well, what's the great density for that one? Okay, if I get you. I know, sorry. I've been neglectful. Can I move you to here, please? I can't talk to them yet, um, if I get a bit closer, if I get to here maybe, um, oh, it's a shame you can't do the orny thing, you have to go back here and call a worm, but that's okay, we can make it work. Ooh, a worm at night time is pretty impressive. Okay, so now we should be able to contact these folks and move them to this one. I should help that problem and so these guys are just getting the last of the the resources from here. 
They could move on to that one actually if that proves to be um, uh, effective. How are we doing in there? Wow, this one's mined out already. They were very efficient. Okay. So in that case, those guys could move to here. And it might make it more of a target for the, the Harkonnen, but. but I think it's worth a try. It's hard to mind now. Yeah, if I move you to this one, is that okay? There we go. I don't suppose anybody else has uh, become an expert. Mm. Yeah. Oh, you are great. Okay, these guys have been an expert longer, so I'm gonna ask you to. Um, do a little bit of espionage for me, please. This is exciting. So the wheels are in motion. Okay, while you're doing that, I'm gonna call a worm? Yeah. Oh, whoa, we can see the harvester in action. That's exciting. Can I knock on the door? No, okay. I'm gonna call a worm. Um, I hope that's not going to scare the harvesters. I want to go to the village that's in the mouth of the fish. Please. Yeah, I'm kind of interested because the, the worm is in there. I wonder if there's any other functionality within the game that the worm serves, whether it enhances the reputation amongst the Fremen. Um, whether it has penalties to travel or, or benefits over the ornithopter, I don't know. Okay, so I believe this was where we could get the best deal of an orny. Good to see you, it's been many days. Yeah, what do you have? An orny for trade for 1980. That doesn't seem great. 1740 kilograms. Oh, sure. Let's do, let's do it. Make sure you, to pick it up. Okay. Make sure you get paid, of course. Well, yeah. Um, I think I'm going to fly it away. Hooray. So let's get back here. Um, try and avoid Harkonnen airspace if we can. And I think we'll be just in time for our, our deadline. Yeah. Should be good. Um, can I see? Oh, okay. Can I contact all these? Okay, they're the guys who just got there. Can I modify your equipment? Yeah, have one of those. Oh, that's good. Ah, winning modules. They seem to be a terrific weapon. That's cool. I also wondered if um, having more than one group of different skill levels in a particular field in one place helps them uh, both to advance. I don't know if it does, but it would be interesting if that's part of the mechanic. So those um, those guys are doing all right. Expert in spice, fab. The men have heard of the vegetation experiments you're running. They have renewed motivation with this new knowledge. Excellent. I wonder if they hear about it when they're traveling. So if they move around, they get to they actually see the, the vegetation growing. That that would be a very cool mechanic if that's that's how that works. Oh, okay. Hang on, can I contact? No, they seem to have found something. And hopefully they haven't been kidnapped. Um, we'll get back in touch after we've paid our, our dues, I think. Okay, let's head in. So we've got the night to get through, and then I think we'll have a message. So I think we'll do the usual, we'll just have a chat to everybody and see if there's anything new going on. Ufa? Um, talking about Charney. Yeah, I'm putting that plan in action as we speak, Ufa. Worry not. Um, Lady Jessica? 
Um, investigating the water of life. Yeah. Um, soldier in the war room. Hi, soldier. Dunk in Idaho. What do you have for me, Dunk? Um, 86,000. That seems okay. Um, spice production has been down. Yeah, that's. But we. Oh, there's a bill? Sure. Yeah, that's what I paid for the only to get here. Yeah, that's fine. I accept that. Uh, Duncan's catchy catchphrase about the uh, importance of spice. Um, okay, so no outstanding bills, that's good. Any surprises on the balcony or in the Empress room? On my bedroom? No. Let's have a peek in the mirror. Okay. Just me, just Paul. Okay, well let's... We're getting through the evening, that's good. We seem to arrive with just a little bit too much time. Let's wait for the morning. That's cute. Ah, nice. If you go sideways, ooh, you can see desert. But I think if you go back, you see... Yeah, you see the past recede. That's very nice. Okay, well we'll go in. And we will pop here. No new messages here. Um, so I think I'm fairly confident we can meet the demands of um, the Emperor this time, and for a few, a few more rounds of this particular pattern. And hopefully we can use those portions of time to make some military advances, which should. I mean, as they go, they should hopefully enable us to have new areas to harvest, um, and the harvested areas should provide new areas for uh, cultivation. So I might need to... S hopefully I can also liberate some more um, troops of people, because that would be very helpful. Uh, they can become ecologists, and they can start to cultivate the land as well. We can go from there. Kufa? No. Okay. Still gar? Oh, okay. Okay, okay, still there. Okay. Um, uh, I'm quite excited about this map. I wonder if there's any more rooms to find in the palace. Interesting. I suspecting the plot will only really move on when we find Charlie. That's what I think is happening. Um, and then that might also unlock something about the Water of Life. I feel like those are the two two real dangling threads of story that we're going to have to deal with and then yeah because I mean the end the end goal is to take all the Harkonnen bases that's how that's how you win June um, on a textual textual level and in a metatextual level, I suppose. A meta game level. Um, new message? Oh, come on. There should be a different way to pass timer. Oh, hello. Hang on, is it. Oh, Thufa, I'm in the other room. I'm just in the other room. Okay. No pressure down. What are you after? Hopefully nothing too extortionate. 1600? That's doable. Although, it's not going to be too long before the demands um, might become unreasonable. The Embrace spice shipment, didn't he? 
Um, we can send him what he asked for, I accept. I'm not going to send him more than what he asked for. He seems perfectly happy with what he asked for. Okay, come with me, Duncan. Let's do the old communication room shuffle. <laughs> that's an odd way to go to the comms room. <laughs> ah, so that's what he means. If you don't take the most direct route, he gets a bit, gets a bit confused. That's a nice detail. Cool. Okay, let's wait for his reaction. Don't have to worry. Well, here comes the message. Uh, oh, we finished our perspective job here in Salmin Tibia. Cool. Thank you for letting me know. Um, okay, let's view this new message. That was a. I got the wrong kind of message. You sent me the spice I asked you. Good. Next shipment will be five days from now. Okay. Making a note of that for future me. Um, five days is a good amount of time, I think. Um, okay. Bye, Shadam. Great. Okay. Well, once again, in the communication room, we'll leave it here for this episode. And um, next time we come back, we're going to check in on those prospectors, check in on our hopefully undercover spies. Um, and see if we can take back, or I guess we never had it in the first place, but conquer a Harkonnen base. That was that would prove a big turning point, I think, in this game. So join me next time to see what happens. Thank you very much for being here for this one. And until next time, take care. Bye bye.